Oh, I've got my moisture blades. About to do some forging. I've got my washing out. So, a bit of a rethink tonight. So, what I'm going to do is tidy up the assassin. So, I'll see you in a bit. I'll get grinding. I'll probably have a big old forging session when it's absolutely hammering down the rain zone, but way. Keep busy and I'll do another task and then do the forging on another night. So, here we go. Let's do some messy grinding. Oh yes, a job for me dad. I'll rehandle that at some point. Um, probably chip the handle off, redo the pain on the end, find some beach. I think I want to do. So I was a bill hook in there somewhere. Um, yeah. Possible two more orders. Things are looking up. So here we go. New goggles. See you in a bit.
point now where I'm happy with the amount of stock removal I've done. I've even managed to save the template so I can stick it on to drill the, um, the holes after. So I've got to draw another one right, you know, straight away from doing the hardening or the annealing from whatever project I'm doing. Saving the template saves me some time. And so I'll get some things I can see it. Put that there. So there is the assassin. Cut out a lot there and ready for annealing. The black gun just a glue stick. This one sticking again all over That picks up the um, the black dust. So there's a mixture of glue and, and steel. Yeah. Quite weighty, but there's a, there's a lot to come off of this yet. I've got steel to take off. You can imagine. Know, maybe a quarter of the steel on each side is coming off because of the cutaway and then I'll be tidying up and final grind and then a load of weight with um, the string over there <laughs> okay so it's, it's a real balance in that I might actually creep the the grind higher up in order to give it a lot more maneuverability because this is one of the few blades I'm going to do power cord wrap. So whatever the balance is going to be, I'm going to have to take into account there's it's not going to be so much mass on this end. But um, the guy that's intended appreciates what is, what is going to be, and he's looking for a heavy chopper. And even on the um, the drawing that I did on A4, he could see straight away that if it, that it was scaled up to A3, it was too big for what he was after, so he asked it to be the same thickness as what it was on that A4 drawing which this is around about, this is closer to the A4 um, so has that one moved on shame I couldn't do any forge work with the washing up and down the street there's no point in annoying anybody uh, so there he is and uh, hopefully next couple of nights if the forge don't get fired up I'll crack on with two more orders um, which I think are at Netherlands um, you'll see two berserkers two proper berserkers. This is going to be quite a challenging one, this one. The um, one for himself and the other one for his brother, I think. So that's going to be a nice little job doing two identical blades. Twin berserkers. That could be fun to see. So there's the assassin. See you on the next one. Join me again. Scott from Wessex Blades.